Hey there, this is Ranjit and in this video, we'll be doing the quick benchmarks for this Xperia N2, which is a kind of a mid-range uh, Android device. And let's start with the configuration using CPU Z. And as you can see, it sports a quad-core processor clocked at 1.2 gigahertz. And uh, this is based on the Snapdragon 400 chipset. This is the same processor that we found on the Moto G. The GPU on this is the Adreno 305. And as you can see, the screen resolution is QHD. It's not a full HD display. And uh, the screen size is a 4.8 inch screen. And regarding the battery, the battery is a 2300 milliamp hour battery. And out of the box, this Xperia M comes with the Android version 4.3, that is Jelly Bean, not KitKat, but is supposed to get the KitKat update very soon. So let's get out of this one. And uh, let me show you the benchmarks. I have already run the benchmark, so let me quickly show you the scores. So as you can see, these are the quadrant scores. We got a score of 8,283, uh, which is very similar to the uh, other phones that are running on the Snapdragon 400 chipset. For example, the Moto G and even the LG L90. I also ran the Antutu. And in Antutu, we got a score of 17,148. I also ran Apex Citadel and uh, I ran in, ran in two modes. One was the default mode and here we got a very impressive score of 58.5 FPS but I also ran it uh, in this uh, ultra high quality and here the score dipped to about 48 frames which is also pretty decent so it should be able to play many of the games. And let's also look at the Nina Mark 2 score. And as you can see, uh, we got a very good score that is 59.9 FPS. That's almost the max that we got. So this device should be able to play many games. Some of you have asked me about moving the apps to the SD card because this Xperia M2 has a SD card slot. But uh, by default, there is no provision to move the apps to the SD card. I also tried it with some third party apps, but uh, I was not able to move the apps to the SD card. Unlike this LG L90 on which I was able to do the same. I'll also be doing a full gaming review with this Xperia M2 very soon. So if you aren't subscribed to my YouTube channel, subscribe to the same. Thank you for watching this video. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.